All right, so here is the portable solar power system here that I built. So we got a couple Renogy 100 watt solar panels up on the roof right now, just temporarily coming in through the window just to test everything out. Still got to clean some things up here, but uh, here's the charge controller. Take the plastic off. So we're at 12.9 volts. We're getting about um, 19 volts times 10 amps, so just about 200 full watts right now. It's midday Sunday, so I'm getting good sunshine. So we're getting the solar panels on their full potential. Got the Chins 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And uh, I'll take you guys through the, the setup here. I got the 12 volt little switch switchboard over here. So we can plug in our 12 volt cooler over there. Got some USBs right there. And then I got this, uh, this cheap little battery meter here. I want to get a better one, but uh, for now it's doing the, the job. It's an estimate. I got the, so um, I got the fridge plugged into the inverter right now. So we've been testing that out for a couple days now. So, so this is all built into like a laundry room cabinet here that I had an extra one of. Put a couple in the garage and so cut some holes in this shelf here and uh, poke the two gauge wires up from the battery positive goes through that anl fuse into the positive bus bar and the negative bus bar over here and then those wires come off into the inverter still got to shorten these up of course the charge controller wires same thing got to shorten them up but they come over feed into the bus bar you got your little 12 volt wiring that goes up into here um everything's very preliminary right now but so that's basically it and let me know if you guys have any uh you know tips or tricks or things i'm doing wrong here there's a shot there of the lithium battery seems to be doing a pretty good job So it's all fed from the, the Renogy charge controller here. Still getting close to 200 watts, so that's good. I plan to get, get a couple more solar panels to boost that up. So this whole system basically does what an EcoFlow or a portable power station will do, you know. So we got the EcoFlow River Pro, you know, to take with you when you're camping or whatnot. And we can also, you know, charge this from the 12 volt source there. And so I just plugged that in over to here. And so this will tell you how many watts that it's using and how much it's, or sorry, how much it's gaining. 93 watts right now from the that system and it'll tell you how much it's using when you plug stuff into it so i also want to get the uh, you know some some watt meters for here to tell what i'm pulling in and what i'm using at any given time to help track that so that's it it's just the start of my system here i can't forget the leds that we got up in the top here So I plan to, uh, to have the electrician help me uh, plug that all into this the transfer switch. So plug this into the main uh, electrical panel to take your top, you know, four circuits and be able to power them from a plug that'll go in here from the system. So you can take your fridge, living room, whatever you want, you know, into there and uh, be able to use it on a more semi-permanent basis or for backup emergency power if the power goes out. So that's the, the next plan here in the system. All right, so I probably should mention, obviously you don't need both of these systems. It's for whatever you wanna use it for, depending. Um, this um, has the capability to add more batteries. You know, it could add another 100 amp hour battery to double the uh, 
capacity. This, the EcoFlow has about 700 watt hours. You know, this has about 1200, so I could double that to 2400. Also, I, mean, I should mention this has the capability of having a Bluetooth um, thing on it that I haven't got set up yet. So I'm gonna try to do that soon as well so you can track, track your system performance you know, over the day or over time to, you know, see how you're doing day in, day out. So I want to get that connected soon as well. This is a cabinet, so it does have doors on it, but I think I might just leave them off for now anyway to circu help circulate the airflow through there so it's not just closed in. Otherwise, cut holes in the side of it. I don't know, add some fans. But for now, I think this will do the job.